The girls over at the house of Louis Vuitton, they mad at y'all, okay? And they coming for you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Trailing Danita here. If you are in love with natural hair, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, then listen, this is the place. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. And be sure to hit that notifications button so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And for all of my returning subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for always clicking on my face when I upload a video. All right, guys, let's just get into it. The girls over at the house of Louis Vuitton, they mad at y'all okay and they coming for you so i wanted to do a quick video about how i kind of changed my louis vuitton toiletry pouch 26 into my own little spin on bag but first before i get into that let's talk about it okay this idea of turning the louis vuitton toiletry pouch into that of a handbag is being frowned upon at the house of Louis Vuitton, okay? They are not happy with you girls out here turning this toiletry pouch into a bag. No, 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 no. They are not happy with it. And as a result, this little bag is discontinued. Yes, the toiletry, all of the toiletry pouches, definitely in the monogram LV, they are no longer available at Louis Vuitton stores or on their website. If you are lucky enough to snag one of these bags, I suggest you go ahead and do that. This toiletry bag has been trending for about the last couple of years, and you just got to get into it if you're into it. If you're not into it, no worries, child. So a little bit about the toiletry pouch, hence the name, toiletry. It is designed for you know, traveling toiletry for you to put your uh, items in it if you're traveling, you know, your makeup, your uh, face wash, things of that nature. It is not designed to be an everyday handbag. However, this trend definitely picked up after, you know, there were signs of Princess Diana wearing this as a clutch. And not many caught on at that time, but as time progressed, People started catching on and people started wearing this toiletry pouch as a clutch. Now, for me, when I first initially purchased this pouch, which was about a little over three years ago, um, I think it was at that time where it was picking up its momentum and popularity. And I was able to snag this at the Louis Vuitton store. Um, so this is brand new, not pre-loved. Um, at the time, I think it retailed maybe 625 look it's been a long time i can't remember um i know it was around that price point um so i purchased this retail brand new um i'm glad i did when i did because now the pre-love market for this bag is insane um because louis vuitton discontinued this item everybody is trying to get their hands on one of these. So the pre-love market for the toiletry pile, um, they're running every bit of maybe starting at $1,000 and up. So <laughs> I definitely had got my money's worth with purchasing this brand new. So I purchased this bag with the intent to use it as such, as a toiletry bag for when I'm traveling or for like a quick grab and go when I need to grab my makeup and things like that. Um, so here's my thing. If I can remix this little pouch, your girl is going to do it okay so louis vuitton is not happy about that because they feel like this bag is not designed for what the girls in the streets are doing it okay girls are changing it into handbags crossbody bags and all of that stuff so i'm jumping on this trend and i'm going to show you how i'm transforming my toiletry pouch into that of a handbag so this is the toiletry pouch 26 this is the size of it inside is it's very it has a lot of room so you can fit a sizable amount of items in there which i love when i originally bought it i was like okay this is going to be perfect to kind of throw like my perfumes my makeup things that i need um you know when i'm traveling or if i just need to grab and go some things when i need to like <laughs> go down to the bodega okay um but nonetheless so this is the 26 pouch 
I snagged this insert from Amazon and I'll be sure to link all of the items that I am showing here down in the description below but I did snag this one from Amazon I like this particular insert because it has like this trimming on it and it provides a great deal of structure so what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this insert and I'm putting it inside the toiletry pouch and it fits in there like that and this is what it is looking like now with the insert even if I wasn't transforming this bag into something new I think I would want to use the insert anyway because it just kind of gives this little pouch a little bit more structure and it just looks so clean and finished now with the insert they have these D rings here so that is very important when you're trying to transform the bag these D rings so I'll be using the D rings to add the particular straps that I have so the first strap that I have is this gold chain strap and the strap is rather it has a little bit of weight I purchased this from Amazon as well now of course we know it's not real gold okay so I don't know how long or the longevity in terms of the tone and if it will fade but I just bought it just to check it out to see if it would even work this strap has the clamps that looks like this so basically I'm gonna take the ends of this clamp and attach it to the D ring on the insert so that's let's see kicking it here so it's like that I hope you can see that and then taking the other one and clamping it to uh oh guys sorry <laughs> the d-ring like that so this is the first look this is what it is looking like you know what I put the d-ring let me take this out because ideally I want this d-ring to go through the zipper to pull it out to go out on the outside of this zipper part so it can so I can pull the chain through so it won't look crazy I mean it's not meant for this but <laughs> we gonna make it work so that's how it looks and then the zipper will just kind of hang over the chain so we zip it up like this and this is how we would wear the bag this thing is kind of funky but you get the point and this is what it is looking like in terms of how it hangs so that is the first transformation for this particular bag so now I'm gonna try something a little different with transforming my toiletry into kind of that like a crossbody. So I did take a trip to um, the, Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton store um, just recently and I purchased a strap. <laughs> so the strap I purchased, the original strap that I had in mind to add to the toiletry they did not have in store. So I ended up getting something different. So I purchased the I think this is the bandolier strap with uh, the Louis Vuitton on the the strap in black with the coin purse so I just like hey let me transform my toiletry into a crossbody using one of the Louis Vuitton uh, straps so I'm gonna use the same insert to kind of hang the straps on so taking that d-ring and taking that Louis Vuitton strap and attaching it like that there and then 
doing the same thing on the other end. Taking that D ring and attaching the Louis, the Louis Vuitton strap. So this is the look. Are y'all into this? <laughs> See, this is why Louis Vuitton is mad at the girls. They don't want y'all doing this, okay? They do not want y'all transforming this into this. They don't want y'all doing this. Okay, I don't I don't want to be one of them per people that's just looking crazy out here trying to create a purse, but y'all, I'm liking it. Do you guys like it? Um, Let me zip it up. Let me zip it up so you guys can really see it. So ideally... With this strap, you can adjust it to the the uh, the drop that you want. So I could ideally wear it like this, or even you know, if I wanted to wear it like that. But that is not how I intended to wear it with this strap. My intention was to wear it kind of like a crossbody. So this is the drop of the crossbody. So it gets really, really long. So let me show you how that would look. So with the crossbody, this is what it is looking like. It's giving a whole different kind of vibe. At first I was opposed to it, y'all, but... <laughs> The people at Louis Vuitton are just going to be mad at me. <laughs> okay? Because I like it. Hmm. I do like the look of it. I was on the fence on whether or not I was going to keep the strap. So, I'm not sure, guys. What do you think? Should I should I keep the strap? Should I remix the bag like this? Should I remix it? I really want to challenge Louis Vuitton. Okay? We're going to remix it. We're going to remix the remix. Let's put the Louis Vuitton strap on with the gold chain okay so I am just taking the Louis Vuitton clamp and just attaching it to the D ring well the round ring on the chain and taking the other end of the Louis Vuitton strap and clamping it on here like that and this is the bag for the remix okay it's giving you more of crossbody vibes with the chain look which I'm into y'all I don't know I think maybe this was might have been my favorite remix <laughs> this might be my favorite version of the remix I don't know I don't know um but yeah, I'm definitely going to try my hand in wearing the toiletry pouch. You know, one of the ways that I just showed you guys. Are you into it? Are we into it? Louis Vuitton is not into it. <laughs> like, which style or which remix y'all feel? Okay. Or are y'all feeling the remix? Or, or are you that person that's not feeling this whole, you know... Toiletry 26 Remix. Is that you? Don't be that person. All right, guys, that is it for now. Let me know down in the description below if you're feeling this whole Louis Vuitton toiletry like vibe remix thing or if it's just not your thing. Like, okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, ciao.